A nine-member election committee of the New Patriotic Party on Monday have met to deliberate on the outcome of the special delegates conference that was held last Saturday to strip down the number of flag bearer aspirants to five. Now, the election, as witness, was marred with a number of issues among some aspirants, with some seen issuing threats to others on viral videos on social media. President showdown. Vice President showdown. And the committee says necessary punitive measures will be taken against aspirants who attack fellow aspirants. Any aspirant, any agent who would make it his own bona fide of waging war against the party will be sanctioned. By saying war against the party, I specifically mean that no member should make it a point to attack any member, any needed member, merely for disagreeing with a particular matter. Briefing the press, spokesperson of the committee, Fenyo Marking, expressed the party's resolve to summon all 10 aspirants on Tuesday, August 29, to listen to their grievances and ensure they're all given a fair hearing. We are inviting certain personalities to appear before us for engagement. We want to hear them. We have heard of certain allegations in the media for the sake of the party's well-being, for the sake of the unity of the party, we have taken it upon ourselves to again say that all such individuals are to appear before us so that by tomorrow morning at 9 a.m., we'll be here. Concerning Alan Tremante's latest statement in which he lamented the attack of his polling agent, the committee has decided to meet with him personally to resolve his grievances. We have become aware that one of the aspirants raised certain issues. Apart from the main meeting with all the aspirants, that aspirant has also, is also going to be invited for a one-on-one -on -one engagement to listen to him in respect of the specific issues that he raised. For now, the party might have to prepare for another delegates congress if none of the aspirants who tied in the fifth position steps down. Judith Awotritando, TV3 News, and PPA Cortis, Accra.